Hey everyone, Jolt here. Excalibro 2.0.5 comes with four new improvements. First of all, I've worked on performance, and hopefully you're going to feel this as you use Excalibro as well as as you use Obsidian when Excalibro is installed. Secondly, I implemented some new drag and drop actions, particularly focusing on dragging and dropping from your local hard drive. So for example, now you will be able to drag and drop videos from your local hard drive and they're going to be interactive in Excalidraw, as well as you'll be able to drag and drop from folders within your vault, but using your native file explorer, for example, dropping images and Excalidraw is going to be intelligent and will recognize that those files come from your vault. Thirdly, I implemented configurable modifier key combinations for the different drag and drop actions as well as for the link click actions. And finally, I implemented limited support for animated GIFs. It's limited because on the canvas you will see the GIF animated and it looks nice, but when you export this as an image, this animated GIF is going to be a gray box because this is really an embeddable object, not an image. Nonetheless, I think it looks cool. And if you use Excalidraw as a canvas, not as a printed material, then this is going to work great for you. So let's dive in and let's first look at drag and drop actions. And then let's look at the modifier key combinations and the GIFs. So let's start with the drag and drop actions. Here, for example, on my local drive in my downloads folder, I have this demo mp4 file. If I drag and drop this into Excalidraw, then you can see that the video was imported and it's actually an interactive file. You can see it's animated. I can also open this to interact with it, to stop it. And from now on, this video is on my canvas. Similarly, I can also come to a web page. So this is where my dancing figure came from and I can drag and drop my figure in here. Here I need to change the option. So the default action is to insert an image. And if I do this, let me do this first, then this is going to insert the image itself. This is going to be a static image. If you want an interactive image, you want to embed it as an embeddable, then you have two options. One is to drag and drop the file from the browser to here and press the modifier key combination on Windows. The default is control shift to insert it in an interactive frame. And when I do so, then the frame is inserted and you need to slightly resize it to get rid of the black box. Unfortunately, as far as I can see, that black area around the image comes from the operating system. I didn't find a way to get rid of that. But if you resize the box, then it actually looks fine. So now let's look at what happens when I drag and drop a file from the vault path on my local drive. So here I'm going to right click on this skating GIF and I'm going to open this in my System Explorer. So this is in my System Explorer. You can see that this is on the path where my vault is. This is in the vault root. Now, if I take this skater and drop the file here, again, I know this is actually an interactive image. So this is an animated GIF. I'm going to, again, press Control Shift to insert an interactive frame. And with this, I inserted my skater. But I think the important thing is you can see that Excolidro recognized that this skater was already in my vault. So it added an internal link and not an external link. So you can see there skating, the GIF was added. So these are the two major changes with drag and drop. 
Now let's look at the modifier key combinations. In the README you find this file. These are the default settings for the modifier keys and you can see that there are many different type of modifier key combinations or options. The first one is to open a link. This could be clicking on an Excolidural drawing in a markdown file or clicking on a link within an Excolidural drawing and you can see the different options you have here. Then you can drag and drop from a web browser. You can also drag and drop from the Obsidian file explorer. And finally, you can drag and drop from your local operating system. And you can see, I think this is actually a pretty daunting list of combinations because using shift control alt and meta or shift command option and control you can have various combinations and i understand people have different preferences as for what should be the default action and what combination should do what so finally i made this configurable so how does this work if you go to excolidraw plugin settings you need to click here on excolidraw and under Excolidraw Appearance and Behavior, if you open this group, at the bottom you will see link click and drag and drop modifier keys. And here you can modify these four categories. For example, if I want to change the link click behavior, I want the documents to open in a new tab by default and not open in the active window then I can actually click here so if you hover these buttons but also I explain it up here that the sequence of these toggles are shift control alt and meta if you open this on a Mac then you will see the relevant sequence for the Mac I think it goes shift option command and control but you need to read the text and also I added tooltips here so if you hover these buttons then you will get the feedback. Now you can see that here I was able to set the same combination for both of them. This is not good, only one of them will happen. I cannot predict which one will be honored so as you do your settings you need to make sure that within the group everything is set in a unique way. So right now I wanted to make the single click to be open in a new tab and the control click to be the one to open in the current active window. So if I now close settings, I'm going to come back to my untitled document. So you can see here that uh, these images that were uh, dropped from Obsidian don't work. The one actually that was dropped from the local drive does appear here as well. Nonetheless, what I want to show you right now is if I long click on this image, then it opens in a new tab because that was the configuration that we made that the default action of long clicking should be in a new tab. And if I now hold down the control key and long click, then it will open in the same tab so you can see that I can change these settings. Now also pay attention that here when you look at these settings you will also see here a small text that in case of none of the combinations apply the default action for this group is open a new tab. Why is this important in this case? Because right now because I changed the combination, if I open my demo image and I control click, for example, on this link here, then it's going to open in the same window because that's the configuration I've given now and I've lost my capability to open it in a new tab. Now, of course, you could set up your dedicated combination for that, but because control shift is not defined. So if I press control shift, that is going to invoke the default behavior. So if I press control shift on this, in this case, it's going to open in a new window. I hope that the default settings are actually good. So I would think that 
you will only change this if something is really not working for you with the default settings and now with the settings you have more flexibility in configuring how Excolidraw works for you. So I hope you find these new features valuable and as always in the discussions on Discord and on all the other forums where I'm available. Happy to hear your feedback, happy to discuss feature requests and overall happy to hear how you're using Excolidraw. Thank you.